Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, ready to take on another unique challenge on Ultimate General Civil War. Uh, the other day, I played as the Confederates with only cavalry to see if only cavalry, 15,000 of them, could in fact win Pickett's Charge, and I was able to do that. This time, we're going to try the opposite. We're going to play as the Union and see if only artillery can hold the position at Pickett's Charge. Now, I'm going to try this with 400 guns. Almost all of them are 12-pound Napoleons. I've got just a few of other things. Uh, and we're going to see what happens with this. And the, the question is, number one, can I do this with 400 guns? And if not, how many guns would it take? So we're going to try it first this way and see what happens. Uh, as I mentioned, almost all of these are 12-pound Napoleons. And the ones that are not, I have labeled as such. So 10-pounder parrots, uh, regular 10-pounders here, some more 10-pounder parrots. Uh, anything that just has a name, that's a 12-pounder unit. And uh, we're going to have to cover the rear side here pretty quickly because otherwise I'm going to run into a problem. Uh, I've got 20 pounders right here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rush some more of these up the hill a little bit. And then we're going to see what happens. Obviously, I need to have more than one line because uh, the front line troops are definitely going to get hit pretty hard early on. Hello. Everybody's opening up already. Now this is one of the uh, the challenges of the 24 pound or of the 12 pounder Napoleons is they're not going to be as good with counter battery fire as some of the other units are, and of course supply may be an issue as well. I definitely feel like I need a few more 12 pounders up on the north side here just to protect against this. It's gonna take a while before he actually gets Pickett's charge into position. All right, let's get some of these long range guns to start opening up on his artillery. I got 20 pounders up front, that doesn't make a lot, or 10 pounders up front, that doesn't make a lot of sense. All right, let's speed things up a little bit until we have some action happening. Looks like he changed his mind about attacking me up here. So we'll watch for the artillery to start coming, or the uh, infantry to start making their way here. Obviously, my front line artillery is going to get nailed, but what I'm hoping is I've got so much in behind that they make up for it. I think I need to move some of these guys up. I've got too many in close. All right, here he comes. So let's take a look at the numbers. Uh, I've got 2,480 men, 400 guns. He's got 26,000 men, so I'm not number 10 to one, but obviously it's all about artillery and how many casualties can I cause. Well, he's backing everybody up at the moment. So we're in the midst of the, uh, the artillery barrage that preceded our Pickett's charge. So I'm going to keep things going fast until he actually sends his infantry. Alright, come on, dude. Send him in. Jeez, I've been firing a lot on this bit of artillery here. I think I need to send some more up this way. I feel like he's going to hit me right here at the center, and I don't have enough artillery there. All right, he's got two and a half hours left. He's going to have to step out soon. Yes, no. He, don't tell me there's so much artillery that he just decides it's a deterrent and he's not going to attack. Alright, we'll drop out and we'll come back in when he starts moving forward. 
Well, no sooner had I dropped out than he started moving forward. So here he comes. Oh, we got ammo issues already. Let's get up here and resupply. I thought I had the ammo covered, but I guess not. I feel like he can't possibly overrun all this artillery. There's no way. Look at that. I mean, just look at what's flying at him and wait until it becomes canister fire when he gets close. This poor 5th Alabama, they're way out in front and they're just gonna disappear after the first couple of canister shots. Ah, he's gonna run for it. Eh, he might make it out of life. Oh, uh, Wolford's gonna try and get there first. I don't think so, my friend. Ooh, there it goes. Oh, man. All right, he's not gonna make it. Let's see what's happening here. All right, so he's lost only 400 men so far, but this is gonna happen really fast now. Here comes Kemper, that's Pickett's division. Kemper, Garnet, where's Armistead? I don't see Armistead's brigade. Interesting. All right, where's our canister? We're not firing with canister yet. There we go. Oh, there it is. There it is. Scales' his turn. And Lane has hit me up here. Like I said, I expected that those frontline units were gonna take a lot of casualties. Oh, brutal. Is he actually occupying fortifications? Wow. All right, so now he's lost about 1,500 men. I've lost 11 guns. Ooh, there goes a battery. They're gonna get wiped out. Come on, boys. Give him canister. I have a, a battery that was completely wiped out. I still have not seen Armistead's brigade. Where are they? Are they up here somewhere? Did he shift them? That's really weird. It's like he held them back. All right, he's lost 3,000 men. My frontline batteries are getting battered pretty well. And now he's hitting my second line. But I think I'm gonna be able to hold. I think I'll cause enough casualties. The only question is if I can move my artillery back up to take the objective. We may wipe Davis out altogether if he gets any closer. Oh, there's, uh, there's Armistead. He came all the way to the south. That's why. And I don't have a lot down there. Alright, he's lost 4,300 men now. I've lost 52 guns. I think my main concern is that I won't be able to advance with artillery to retake the objective. I'm gonna move some of these guns up a little bit.
All right, we're gonna speed things up just for a minute because I want to kind of see what's happening. I've mentioned this before, but sometimes it's easier to see the movements of the enemy and kind of see what his overall scheme is when you're in a faster speed. Ooh, 7th Tennessee just got wiped out. Yep, they're gone. One of my concerns is this area here where I don't have as many guns. Alright, he's lost 6,000 men now. I've lost... Uh, I'm down to 337 guns out of 400 originally. So I've lost 60, 65 guns. There's Pettigrew. He's got a pretty big brigade. This may work. Oh, 55th North Carolina. What were you thinking, dude? And you're gone. You know, some of these units were so heavily involved in the first day of fighting and suffered massive casualties. It just astounds me that they were even in any kind of condition to make such an attack on July 3rd. Alright, this is kind of the main bulk of his remaining troops now. And he's actually got quite a few. He's lost about a third of his army now. But he, he may make enough progress to be able to defeat me up here. He's lost 10,000 men now. About 40% of his army. Oh, really? Ammo. Supplies. Let's get some supplies down here. Right, we're solid down here. I just... Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to advance in the next half hour to take it back. So I may just have to wipe out enough units to where he can't stop me from advancing. He's got Cemetery Ridge, too. Wow, he's, he's marching up and exposing his flank to my artillery. That's crazy. So I'm thinking uh, this is not going to be enough. I may need a little more artillery to be able to stop him. Because it looks like I won't be able to get the objectives back. So let's drop out, let's come back in with, uh, I don't know, 500 artillery pieces and let's see if that's enough to get it done. Okay, here we go. The attack commences. This time around, I uh, start with 484 guns. I am down 19 of them already. He is down about 300 men. But let's see what happens as he gets closer. Once again, right off the bat, he comes out there with that 5th Alabama. Uh, this time I've shifted my guns up a little more this way. Not holding as many down here because the, the southernmost objective, South Cemetery Ridge, is right here. And I think we can go ahead and maybe even shift more at this point. Alright. These frontline units have already taken some casualties from counter battery fire. Wilcox is going to get there first. Come on, hit him, boys. There you go. He's going to take out Wagner. 
Yeah, not too, not too easily though, because Wagner's in a fortification. All right, let's just watch for a few minutes. Pettigrew's gonna hit first up at Cemetery Hill. All right, he's taking some, or Cemetery Ridge, but that's not unexpected. The question is what happens at the end. Let's speed things along a little bit. Ho oh, ho, Lane, getting it taken to him. Oh yeah, I think this time I have enough men to do the job. Enough cannon to do the job, I should say. Hour and 39 to go, he's already down 5,000 men, and boy, that number's going down fast. Just keep an eye on what happens to Pettigrew, because he's holding up fairly well. There he goes. Posey's trying to come up at me from the south. All right, he's down to just 18,000 men. If we can get him down under 10,000 with about 30 minutes to go, I think I'll be in good shape. Armistead's gonna cease to exist pretty soon. So is Kemper at this rate. Yeah, I think I've got enough to do the job this time. He's going to start coming at me from the north now. This worries me a little bit. I'm going to turn some of my guns. My goodness. An hour to go. All right, we've got, I'm gonna slow down here. We've gotta hit Gordon and Hayes before they overrun the objective. That may be hard for me to take back. He's still got 16,000 men. Oh boy. Yeah, there might still be too many men on the north there for me to win this. Slow down for a second. He's still got 15,000 men. I feel like if I just had a couple of brigades of infantry just to plug in on the objectives, I'd be fine, but the whole point of this is to be able to do this with only artillery. So what I'm gonna need to do is just make sure I advance everything at the objective right at the last minute and hope it's enough. Here comes Iverson. Goodness. All right, let's see, 20 minutes to go. Here he comes at the southern objective, but he doesn't have enough manpower to do it. He's still got 11 and a half thousand men though. Let's do this.
No, no, we don't want to do that. I just want to move them all right here. Problem is, everybody moving means nobody's firing. So maybe I gotta rethink this and only move a few. No, 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 they can't secure South Cemetery Ridge too. Come on, push them back. This may just be impossible just because of the nature of artillery not being able to hold a position. Everybody move forward, just go to the objective. Come on, go there. Yeah, can't be done, can't be done. I'd probably need another 100 artillery pieces. I caused 14,000 casualties, I lost 4,000 men, but I could not hold the objectives. Okay, so there you have it. I would say it probably takes about 600 artillery or just a handful, maybe like two or three brigades of infantry along with 400 artillery, and you probably could get the job done pretty easily. But there you have it. There's an attempt to defend Pickett's Charge with only artillery. I uh, hope you like it. If you want to see more, just throw a suggestion out there in the comment section below. Let me know what you want to see. I am going to an attempt a... Uh, easy difficulty Union campaign with no infantry brigades just to see how it goes. Just cavalry, skirmishers, and artillery. I don't know. Probably won't play it very often, maybe here and there. But let me know what you think. Use the comment section below. Hit that thumbs up, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, guys.